JEA needs dozens of people to be a part of a study that will review habits when it comes to charging electric vehicles. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live this morning. Aaron, this study will last for one full year. And in that study, it's going to use this purple app on my phone that you see right here. It's called OptiWatt. So when you click it, everybody who's going to be participating has to sign up, include their email address and everything like that. And that's going to basically check in and monitor where and when people are charging those electric vehicles. JEA says all of that data collected in that will help it determine different methods it can encourage people of how they can end up charging their vehicles moving forward. All of that in an effort to prevent overloading on the thousands of transformers it uses right now. A new study through JEA will take a closer look at people's patterns when charging their electric vehicles. This is a level two charger. Tony Reynolds is a strategic manager with JEA and he sees plenty of interesting trends. And really understand at home charging, away from home charging, like at, at public and workplace. Some additional trends, Reynolds says, include drivers not charging their vehicles every day, more charging happening before hurricanes, how people charge during different seasons throughout the year, and encouraging people to charge their vehicles during what are considered off-peak hours between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. during the week. You can see how easy it was to plug in. The yeah. typical lifespan of a transformer is 20 years, and Reynolds wants to make sure JEA would not have to replace thousands of transformers sooner. If you get two or three cars charging on a, the same transformer, cluster charging is what we would call that. Uh, we really need to understand whether or not we should be concerned about the infrastructure that we have now. Currently, there are an estimated 8,000 battery-only electric vehicles in the area. Based on recent growth trends uh, out to 2030, we're estimating a little over 40,000 electric vehicles. When we start reaching that level, that penetration of electric vehicles, we're going to start seeing a lot more cluster charging. JEA is eyeing possible changes to manage charging or shift charging in the future to protect its infrastructure. So each driver who's going to be participating in this study is going to be paid $7 a month during the duration of that year-long study as well. But JEA needs all 400 people signed up before it can officially start that research. The target goal is sometime next month in January of 2024 to launch that study. If you're interested, if you're thinking about wanting to sign up and be a part of this, we have how you can do that on our website at newsforjax.com. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.